So I'm off work. Um, I changed because we were gonna take a group picture, but some people had like clients and stuff. So after our work meeting, we left and now I have to run to the bank and then I'm supposed to go, we're supposed to go look at like two houses today. Um, so we're gonna go look at those houses and then see what those look like and see if we like them. And um, then I guess we'll go from there. I'm stuck in this traffic and it freaking sucks. Um, I didn't really get to record much um, for the past couple days because nothing's really been like record worthy, like unless you want to watch me like clean or something, but I can do a clean with me video for that. Um, yeah, so I've just been working the last two days um, and now I will be off tomorrow, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. So hopefully I'll be able to get some more stuff recorded. Like that's my main goal is to try and get some more like videos and stuff recorded, but it's just been like so hectic that it's hard to plan stuff right now, especially with us um, looking to try and move possibly next month. It would be great if we can move next month into something bigger, but I'm not quite sure yet. Um, we weren't going to move again until we bought a house because we were going to wait like a year or so and then buy a house, but we are just kind of like running out of space in our house right now. So um, I'm thinking possibly a move to something bigger would be a little easier on everyone. Um, but we're not quite sure yet. We're looking at some houses, seeing how that um, is gonna play out because we have to make sure that we're in, you know, the kids' same school district. And even if there's no like bus or whatever, we have to make sure that I can like drop, we can drop them off before work and stuff. So, and then make sure that they're able to get picked up. So it's just a lot that we have to kind of um, go through before we make a decision. I mean, we would have to go through the same thing if we were purchasing a house, but it's just, since we're renting, I wanna make sure that I'm renting something that I'm gonna wanna pay for since it's not mine. It needs to meet my needs like right now and for a while until it's time for us to move because I don't wanna move and then have the same issues, you know? So that's what we're dealing with right now. Um, we're gonna go look at these two houses. I don't know if I'm going to record necessarily. Maybe if we do decide, you know, on a house or whatever, like maybe we'll do one, maybe I'll record a video then, but I haven't actually like recorded seeing any houses right now because we don't really know like what exactly it is that we're trying to get into just yet so it is like so much freaking construction around my town and house and everywhere else like it drives me insane like it doesn't make any sense why there's so much construction going on at the same time like they're just tearing up roads left and right and then but they're doing it before they're fixing other roads. And then I feel like the roads that they're supposedly fixing, they're kind of worse than they were before. So I don't really know, you know, I don't know how that's working out, but it's really terrible. And it makes the traffic like unbearable at times. Like, yeah, this, I'm riding on a fixed, fixed road right now. bad but I'm headed to uh, the first house that we're supposed to look at well I'm actually gonna go grab something to eat real quick first because I didn't eat lunch today I had some like cookies at our work meeting but that's really not gonna help so I'm gonna grab something to eat real quick and then just a little something probably like a burger or something and then head to the first house that we're looking at and then we're gonna go to one more, I think. And then after that, I have to go to my house to get my grandma. 
and then drop her off at her house and then come back and figure out dinner and all that fun stuff so if anything eventful happens then i guess i will record it if not then i will record again when something eventful happens so anyone who knows me knows that i don't want a minivan and what did they give me for a rental car an effing minivan is what i'm driving i'm not a minivan mom i just don't i just don't i didn't want one i didn't want a minivan i don't want to buy one i don't want to have one minivans are good for long trips for me not my everyday vehicle so yeah but i can't believe they gave me a minivan bro like really cool all the suvs you could have possibly picked out and you were like nah we're gonna give you the minivan cuz we feel like you're a minivan mom so I'm just leaving um, the rental car place and now I'm, I'm gonna go get some coffee because I only got like a little bit of coffee I only got a little coffee um, this morning. I only got to take like a couple sips of my coffee because I had to get up, get dressed, and then head to uh, the car dealership so that they could take my car in. And then they told me that I was gonna need a rental again. So they put me in a rental again. So I was at the rental car place. So I'm gonna stop and get some coffee because mama is tired. And I fell asleep like weirdly on the couch last night because I was like watching House Hunters because I'm like obsessed with House Hunters. I was like binge watching House Hunters and then I guess I fell asleep on the couch and then um, my husband came in late from work at like two something. Well, I think he came in before two, but I woke up at like 2.30 and he was making like a cookie butter milkshake or something. Um, so I got up and ate something because I was like oddly hungry at like 2 a.m. And then left and went, um, to get in the bed. So, yeah, so I'm gonna go get coffee. My back is killing me because of how I fell asleep on the couch last night. So that's awesome. Um, and then when I get home, it's like a crazy dreary day. Like it was like nice and now like all of a sudden the clouds just got crazy dark and then it just started raining so today's like a gross day so i don't know well um two o'clock my daughter had my youngest has a um doctor's appointment and then later on tonight um my oldest has she's being um inducted into the junior honor society at her school so we're going to her ceremony tonight at six o'clock so i have to go home and get ready for all the events of the day so i guess that's pretty much what i will be doing and taking the initiative in class for school activity the real leader strives to train and aid others to attain the same objective the price of leadership is sacrifice. The willingness to yield one's personal interest for the interest of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a country, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, to lead is a substantial on becoming a member of the National Junior Army. It is my pleasure to introduce Brianna Sanders and the South Central Middle School chapter of the National Junior Honor Society. Congratulations, Brianna, on becoming a member of the National Junior Honor Society. Congratulations, sixth graders, on your induction into the South Sun Middle School National Junior Honor Society. 
finger foods night, so I'm making seasoned fries and hot dogs for the kids. These are almost done, and then they can get ready to get in the bed. And then I don't really know what we're going to have for dinner tonight, because I don't want fries and hot dogs. But I guess we will see. It is Saturday. I am making pancakes right now. I think I made this batch already, so I have to sit in there a little longer. But yeah, I'm making pancakes right now and just drinking some coffee. The small one you hear yelling had a little parfait this morning. She didn't want pancakes. So I'm just, I'm basically just making pancakes for, hey, shh, I'm basically just making pancakes for my son and then probably me and Kevin if he wants pancakes because my oldest wants grilled cheese. It's like so random, but got to take this one outside. Yes. There's like a mannequin right there. I got to get rid of that. She has like a little cough, but the doctor said it's allergies because she doesn't have fever. Yes. What? Huh? Come get me. Come get you and do what? Are you gonna get in your playpen and watch Super Y while I cook? You're not going to sit down with CJ. You're going to sit down for three seconds. Give me one second. I got to flip this pancake. Yeah, so I'm not quite sure what our Saturday plans are today. Um, I know I have to sort out some laundry because I have to do that. I think I flipped this way too early. Yeah, it's a little. Um, I know I have to do that. So, And then I have to sit down and make my grocery list and household item list items list because i'm going to go grocery shopping next week um on my day off so yeah i guess we will see where the day takes us so i'm supposed to be starting back at the gym next week so we'll see how that goes i really want to get back in the gym because i have like a goal that i'm trying to reach by november so I feel like if I really stick to it and like stick to my eating habits and stuff that I should be able to reach my goal but it's just been like a real struggle with things that have been going on and everything else that I've had to deal with in the past few months so it's just been like really hard to get like an actual schedule going. Once again my dog is out sunbathing instead of using the bathroom even though she cries like she just has to go so bad and then I bring her outside and then she's like oh well it's sunny outside I'll just lay in the grass and just roll around it's like okay great let's roll around in the dirt that's good and then go jump on my couch such a bum such a bum yes you you're a bum go potty It's almost time for her next flea pill and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to fight with her to eat it again I think last time I didn't like crush it up enough before I put it in her wet food so she like literally ate most of it but then like ate around the little like <laughs> the little piece that was left and I literally had to like mash it in my fingers and like force her to eat it it was so annoying I had to like put it in some ice cream little crybaby Oh, yeah, I'm not going to the bathroom. I'm just going to sit here and play. God. Turd. I'm off to go meet my bestie for a drink. Well, she can't drink because she's pregnant, but I can. So I'm going to have a drink with her. Um, well, she eats a little something, and we'll just have a little bestie chat because it's been, like, forever since we've actually been able to, like, sit down and do anything together because we both have been like so busy with life and everything else and I'm so upset because I missed her <clears throat> baby shower but I was at work and my boss was sweet enough to let me off early um 
and I didn't even know she was going to do that but she let me off early but it was still a little too late for me to actually meet or get to the shower so oh the sun is like really wow I have like a half face that's weird I didn't get to make it to her shower because like literally by the time I got off work um, even though I got off early by the time I got back to the house to get her shower gift and like change and everything the shower was like over over um because it ended at two it ended at two when I got off at two so didn't get to make that so I'm gonna go meet her have a drink and do a little bestie chat and then come back home because I guess we're gonna get takeout tonight um since it's Sunday night we were gonna go to the food trucks but literally I was so tired like when I got off work today that like it was not happening I fell asleep like as soon as I got home so I needed that nap like nobody's business and she took a nap too so we didn't even like meet up earlier as planned like we both just took naps because it was the day was exhausting she had like a long day with like getting the shower together and then having the shower and everything else and I was just exhausted in general so now we're gonna head and meet at the restaurant and then after that I will be headed back home drinking for her she's drinking virgin lemonade <laughs> but I've got the real drink we got the mama drink right here this is what she's gonna drink a lot of after the baby is born and I got some water because you always need that. Yay for babies! 